Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're having a wonderful day today. So we are gonna start making coffee muffins. So let's get started making coffee muffins today. If I forgot and say any previous videos, the recipe is gonna be in the description box below. Hit that subscribe video, hit that subscribe button to see any previous videos, and hit the notification bell for any new videos coming up. So let's get making. Do, 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 do. So we're gonna need two cups of flour. Let me get my measuring tools because you're gonna need probably liquid, solid, and some teaspoons. So hold on one sec. sugar in it. We're gonna put that way over there. Sorry if I got really close guys. Sugar, we need baking powder and some salt. Some salt and baking powder. Do, do, do. So you need a one and a half teaspoons of baking powder. One of those and okay. make sure that's all mixed together. You can use a spoon or use that electric mixer. I'm just going to mix it all in here. Messes like always. Okay. And make sure you heat up your oven to about 350 degrees while you're making this. It's gonna take a minute for your oven to preheat. Okay. Chop, chop, chop. That looks like it's already mixed in nice and good. So then in my sand mixer over here, I'm gonna use, <clears throat> well, I'm at it, I'll put these ingredients away. I'll eat them. I need milk. Like, you can't have regular milk, you can use almond milk. Be careful, 
And when you're baking, now, it's more of a science than an art. Cooking's an art, baking's a science. So measurements and ingredient changes can be a little bit different. So three fourths cups of milk. You need vegetable oil, about three fourths cups of that. Take that in there. Don't need you. And I don't need you. Do I need any teaspoon? Don't need those. I need two eggs. Cracking your eggs, make sure you don't get any shell in there. So there's one egg. Two. And now we need two tablespoons of this powder. And two tablespoons of espresso powder. What you're gonna do? So now mix. You're gonna whisk these up together. And this is like a quick recipe. I bet you can make real fast or on the oven to have like a muffin in the morning if you need it. I'm gonna make sure those eggs break real quick. Whisk together. Take that off. Kind of give it a little mash before. And then, you know, take this, fold into your dry ingredients. So I'm going to make a well here. And then I just scrape around the bowl, make sure I get all the ingredients real quick. Ooh. So. Okay, it's pretty much good. And this will probably take a while because you're not creating. Sure. And if you can do it by hand, use your stand mixers and they will help you beat it together. There we go. I'm making some batter now.
And what you want to do is when you're folding and making this, make sure you get all the particles that are wet and dry mixed in through so you have to separate make sure it's all dry in the middle. So you don't want that. You don't want flour. No flour. Like I said, this will be an arm workout. So it's arm day, guys. So. And just keep making sure you have no flour, dry particles. So you separate the batter, make sure you got it all mixed in. You don't see anything. If any clumps, try to like press it against the side of the bowl. Give it a little nudge to kind of like condense down. And just scoop and swish. Okay. Now, all that's done. Now it says use a muffin pan, a 12 one. I only have a 24, I was gonna make them smaller, but just to be extra fancy, I have a little mini butt, butt cake pan, so I'm gonna use those. Give them a little spray here. Cause you don't want them stuck. cupcake you want a liner so you should be fine I'm gonna use my little bunt cake here so so we're gonna swoosh make sure get every crevice if you're using like a different shape it could be donut so like you don't always have to use a muffin pan Now, because the muffin pan calls for a few things, I'm gonna do mine a little differently, okay? So, there we go. Oh, excuse me. You wanna get your chocolate covered espresso beans. I got dark sugar down here. Give me one, I got one more. that raw brown sugar stuff I can't think of the name but it's T-U-R-B-I-N-N-A-D oh. to boom rondo close enough close enough so <sighs> So it says a one chop up. I'm gonna make mine a little differently. I'm gonna kind of take three chocolate covered espresso beans and I put them into the top. Try and get them used up here. Now that's my washer and dryer if you hear that little ringtone. Like 
kids that I did work out today, then getting laundry done. I'm doing a lot. Me even dinner. So this is what we do, people. We get things done while we do things what uh, we gotta do. So I'm gonna put those in there. But it says chop it up and put them on top of your muffin pan. Like I said, I'm just slightly going off the recipe. You don't have to do what I'm doing. I'm just going with what utensils I have, devices. Okay. I'm going to get a little scoopy woofy. Take your sugar. Okay. Like I said, mine's reversed backwards. Okay. So you're kind of making like kind of like coffee cake muffins. So I'm gonna put a little sugar here. So it's on the top and not the bottom. Okay. Now if you have always this leftover sugar used in your coffee, it's great for coffee. So pastries, any pastry toppings that you have. I'm gonna put you over there for the second. Okay, I wanna make sure my mixture is ready to go. One more time. So you're gonna take a scoop and plop, plop it into the pan. Plop. Plop. And you wanna make sure they're each even. And if you have a smaller muffin pan, you have extra, use minis, use whatever you got. But the temperature might be different, like her time-wise. Length of time, probably, will be different from the regular size. So keep your eyes on whatever you got, okay? So I'm going to keep scooping here. Because I'm going to probably have extra left over. No, you put that way. You put that way. Actually, pretty darn good. Okay, let's scoop again. One more. Okay. Now I have extra left over, so I'm gonna use it up for a pan. So you're gonna put this in the oven for about 20 minutes. I'm gonna give it about that time and check on it. It says 20, 25 minutes, so mm, looks like my lipstick. Yeah, my lipstick's fine, like I said, I didn't work out, so it was everywhere. So I'll check back in with you when they're all said and done. See you in a moment. And now I'm back, guys. So mine got done a little sooner due to the fact that different pans, different however long the oven I'm preheating so you're gonna let them cool down I'm just giving mine a little bit of a pull because I don't have mine in liners just to give them away from their little area tough spot will be down underneath of mine like I said I'm gonna give them a little pull so there see how they come out Woo -hoo -ha -ha -ha. There goes the timer. So mine were done at like 18 minute marker. Like, don't pull them too hard. Kind of want them to do it on their own. Woo! Toasty. That's really good. So, I hope you guys enjoyed making this with me. 
It's just a little baby and terrible looking. Back not pretty. Almost looks like a muffin. You can almost put it like hot, 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 hot. Put it like a muffin underneath like this, but because the little man baby puff hand, it's so cute. Um, so next time I'll measure it a little differently. So I hope you guys enjoy making this with me. And one of my three rules is cook with family and friends, always try something new and have fun while you're making it. I have enjoyed making every single video I've made with you guys. I've always liked trying these new things. It's pushed me out of my comfort zone and it also gets me in the mindset of how many different styles of cooking there is and how many different styles of anything there is because like I said bacon has always been a science cooking art so as I'm growing and learning as an adult I've always liked cooking I always liked bacon as a little girl but learning all these new things while doing this I've had a great time and I'm still loving that there's so much out there to try and try in new things so I hope to see you guys here again soon and let me know how it goes and I see you next time when we make something new, okay? Bye guys!